Okay, so we're gonna start this. Uh, really, actually, really excited to watch this. I want to see what old old Fox Peach looks like. He didn't have lows. Mm. The gap's closing a lot between the top and the rest. Let's put it that way. Dash attacking at zero. Hmm. Ooh, our mo see, Levin was crouch canceling. This is a crouch cancel. Where was everyone else? <laughs> he already know not to go for fucking up throw up there. Oh, uh, this is so unlike Leffen. A double jab and he full hops out of shield. Leffen would never do that nowadays. That's a free shine out of shield. Comes down with a back air. Already the scuffles are so slow. Did Armani get stuck here? He already got stuck with the F-tilt. He got stuck turning around there. I think he missed a dash back. <laughs> hey guys, remember this? Oh, good times, right? Don't you love that? <laughs> fucking stupid. Oh my god, that was a fucking... My man reached. <laughs> Twenty fifteen but twenty fourteen but he's still not missing those edge guards, that's for damn sure. Ooh, caught that with an up smash. I don't think I've ever seen Armani get hit by an up smash there. Free UCF, yeah. Slapped. It's so weird to see this without like any platform like maneuvering. I wonder if Armada shield dropped at this point. Or Leffen. I feel like Leffen would have been more likely to. Since he was like the newer player. When have you ever seen just like Leffen not go for like the clean ledge dashes? He fucking wave lines off to the top off. He gets a back out of it, dude. That was actually kind of sick. Fourth throw. Okay, so even early on, he always was under the impression of just go for the edge guard on Peach. Dude, this is so weird. It's like you can't just like cover yourself on the platform and then punish. Like here, I could have like shielded and then just completely covered myself and then just punished him, but he can't do that. He has to actually like make a commitment or something. That's so unfortunate. Shield and platform. Wait, what? Was that what I thought it was? Did he let go of shield or did he shield drop? I don't know why. I can't really see what he did. Why does that look weird? Doesn't that, does that like look weird to anyone else? It's like he shields out, but he didn't. Did he like let go and drop off frame one? Right? It looks like he like dropped shield and like frame one fell to the platform. And Leffen's full hopping on the shield, so I doubt he can shield drop. Ooh, that was a good shark. Jump to the platform. Yeah, Armada was just floating out of the up throw up air height, but then didn't count for, like, platform full hop height. He has eye drift as soon as he could, I think. I have no idea. Goes to ledge. Doesn't cover it. That edge guard would not be missed nowadays, I'm, I can promise you. If he has to read. Tried to cover for a double jump up. Left hand's, like, lasering. Oh yeah, I feel like you'd also never seen Leffen do this, where he's like lasering as like Peach is approaching him. He's just trying to get some percent in though, like he just wants to get him out of like CC and early kill percent. Or not early kill percent, CC and like counter hit percent. Leffen's angles were good. This is pre-notches by the way. There were no notches on his controllers. With the immediate type of edge guard, already edge guard's better than most of the Peaches today. Most of the peaches. That's so weird. Yeah, he just full hops off of this. It's like, watch. Nowadays, I'm on a full hop, so he can just like shield up like backer or something, but now he's just like full hop away. It still works out, but it's still like weird. Laser, jab, jab, up, smash. It wasn't a notching, anyways. No, I know, but just so a commentary. Garbage can fell. Don't ask. Ooh, 
Ooh, dash chanting all the way around. Yeah, it looks like he just doesn't want to commit. He's waiting for Armada to commit to anything. Shields the up air to shield. How did he know Armada was going to up yet a shield? I feel like he might have expected an up air. Okay, so... Ooh. Exactly like that. Leffen's already good with these up tilts. It's so weird. He has such a, like, laser, double laser, double laser, nair in. Double laser, double laser, run in. It's like, he has such, like, a, he has such a tempo to this play. Which is, like, very uncharacteristic of him nowadays. It feels a little telegraphed, but not really. I can see why his play style today stemmed from this. Let's put it that way. He's, a, he's basically just trying to make this as hard as he can. Goes to ledge. That hasn't been punished once yet. That's crazy. Ooh, can't really punish that. That was actually so s smart. Just to CC that enough smash. Levin knows that was smart too. Look at the head nod. He's like, yeah. Yeah, that was smart. That was actually really smart. I gotta pick this up because a bunch of stuff fell on the floor. Because I am a moron. Okay, cool. Damn, this is... It's weird seeing where all of this shit came from. Was it Noah? Crocodile. Pretty cool seeing where all this came from. Definitely his edge guarding wasn't as good. And obviously he doesn't but go. Ooh, sorry about that. And obviously he doesn't go Peach versus Leffen anymore. Well, he doesn't go Peach, period, but you know what I mean. Percept. That was a sick up your call out. I've never... I don't even see Foxes do that now. Waits for the down air to come out. Yep. Armada's done that down air like three times for an edgeguard already. Nair's on. It gets red. <laughs> Feels bad. I feel like he's... I feel like Leffen is such a ha read on like Armada's recovery habits in this set. I know he used to study the shit out of Adam, but it's like really apparent right now. Do you guys ever think about, like, this is completely random, how weird, like, age is, like, this is the same guy that you see streaming on Twitch every day. This is, like, the same guy that you see fucking walking around in his TSM jersey. Does anyone find that weird? Like, compared to how they look in here? I love how scuffed old school Melee was, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm running underneath, I'm running underneath. He's just waiting for an opportunity. It's the same guy that punches. Shut up, dude. And there's like no smash GI. Have you guys noticed there's like no smash GI on the drill? Can you do backflip, please? If you if you subscribe, I'll do a backflip. How about that? I'm not doing a backflip. There's no there's no smash GI on the drill at all. Used my Twitch Prime. Well, I used my backflip for the month. Sorry, dude. Alright. Yeah, at least Armada is crouch canceling. Shine out shield. Damn. I'll be back to next month for my backflip. <laughs> Shine out shield. Dude, this is 2014 and he's doing that. That's fucking go. He does a grounded one, but like, honestly, I still do that one half the time. Oh my god. And then he gets a stitch. Okay. Yeah, he, Armada's got, like, no edge cards. I feel like even if he had a pre-read on his habits, nowadays, uh, he'd be... Armada would have been quicker to adapt, like, before he quit. Feels bad. This is a ledge dash. That's gonna happen. I'm sure he probably adapts. Ooh, he grabbed the fucking... Fo uh, full cancel fair. Levin's pretty impressive in this matchup right now. Turn on up smash. <laughs> I don't blame him. So Peach unfortunately has a really fatal flaw where she can't actually reach the top platform on Dreamland, Battlefield, or Fountain without using her double jump or her upbeat. And so you can actually just sit here and react and be completely safe. Which he just did to wear out of its ability. Shut it. People have a fucking like, l fucking love obsession with Nair in this uh in this day and age. Holy shit! 
Everyone's using Nair. Got another shot out of shield though earlier. Weak Nair to grab. Got the shield out. Knows even this stage knows not to go for up throw up air on the eye behind. Catch him come down with the smash. Wow, it didn't kill. I think so, sure. Something not a lot. Okay, grab the shield this time. Shield's so good at high percent. Nobody grabs. Everyone just tries to finish you with an attack. So she run up and shield is super powerful. Wow. That's an impressive 2014 edge guard. That's really impressive. That's, that's even nowadays, like, I'd, I see Peaches miss that all the time. Like, good Peaches. Okay. Yep, he's not getting anything. Let's see how he gets off the left. He uses up B and he gets caught by it. But the thing is, it doesn't matter because you just reset and then Fox can just do something else. Okay. Not much you can do there, yeah. Dot eyes? I wonder if he back aired the turn up so like to get the turn up away i don't know like maybe he wanted him to not be able to catch it he like wanted just to cover like that area leffen okay so i was actually going to comment that armada pulls no turn ups and the second armada tries leffen literally runs in and nares him okay and it waits for the air dodge he's a normal because of fc aerial oh interesting yep that top platform can't do anything you have to wait till they come down There's another stitch, and he catches it. He threw it immediately. I don't know. I feel like I have to hold on to it. Peach doesn't have a shine. I, I get just wanting to play, though. He finally, Armada finally catches him coming in. No, why did he back off so hard? Okay, so like this, I would never see nowadays. It's like, if he gets this, there is zero chance you see Armada backing up here. He's going out and finishing that. Like, you're dead, dude. And then he up he's to ledge. Nair trades. We can go to ledge again. And he's safe. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Goes to ledge again. He's got to ledge like three times. Gets a power field grab. That's not going to kill, though. I think he wins this game, doesn't he? The, fight, the air dodge coming down. Damn. I can't believe Leffen got that game. <laughs> I would never see Armada back off of an edge guard like that, though. Granted, this is 2014, but... Left in the only one ledge has 2014, but even he side me from ledge there, and it almost cost him. Kind of crazy, actually. I don't know if he's the only one either. Yeah, I don't know if he's the only one. Oh my god, there's a bomb. It's so scary to shine, because if you just get fared once, you get fared, and then the bonding has to run at you, and you're just dead. Yeah, don't, don't even bother trying to catch that. Just get rid of it. Okay, so you don't DI... Leffen, obviously, not privy to not DIing behind at zero. I'm sure he was, but he just fucked up. That dash is actually sick, because I think he didn't have a jump because of this. Yeah, he didn't have a jump, so he has to up B immediately. But he's gone to ledge 80 trillion times without an issue. I see, uh, like, Triff. Now it is. If someone's just consistently going to ledge, he'll just, like, float out preemptively and just fair you, like, intersecting you coming down here. He'll just fair you, like, here. Leffen was evil back then. Ac according to what I've heard, I was not actually there. Although I'm sure he was just, like, edgy. I don't know. I won't speak for what actually happened. Standing double laser feels fucking bad, dude. Feels so bad. That hurts. Okay, so he tried to cover it there. He just fucked up. That was definitely an attempt, though. In the first time all set, I've seen him go off early. Which is like a staple now. For Pete just to go out there and just say fuck it. Okay, caught it. Was that a shield drop or a shield poke? God, God damn it. I didn't want to do that.
Did Armada shield drop here? Did Levin... Huh? I think Armada shield dropped, and then Levin, like... I don't know why he appeared there. <laughs> um, He definitely wasn't reading a shield drop, because no one shield dropped. And that's the first time I saw Armada shield drop at all. But... Maybe he did, I don't know. Maybe he just had the biggest brain of all time. Levin still can't shield drop. He's just standing there after he gets up aired. It's actually crazy how much safer platform pressure was back in the day. I can't believe he missed this. How does he not get edge guarded ever? What's up, Chris? He can call his movement. Trying to punish like a lot of stuff, and it's it's like a lot of the ideas that I'll come around later are here. They're just not like refined yet. From both ends. Ooh, now he's actually going out after the up B. That's probably why this goes to game five. I'm pretty sure it goes to game five, right? Up B's, yep. He did that. He's done that a few times where first time he grabs Lechi, he immediately up B's. Throw up air. No smash GI. Interesting. I learned from Left and Shield after in 2014. That's fucking crazy. It all works out. No, I haven't seen that actually share. And now our mod is actually getting some turnips out in neutral. We touch back down, smash. I, I will never get how someone consistently tech chases with Peach. Okay, well, he doesn't. That's that's the answer. <laughs> Ooh. Goes to ledge again. He's kind of ledge every time, dude. It's funny because Leffen, like, doesn't go to ledge at all now. Like, everyone says he goes to ledge, but he's just, like, countered that by basically never doing it. Just free chain grab. Nearest them them off. Ooh, good turn up. Bad double jump, but good turn up. This guy started 2014 to be fucking rich. People might not buy it, honestly. I feel like only half the reason it's so successful now is because we have, like, such readily available information on how shitty controllers actually are. That's so weird. It's just the option just to jump off of platforms. And so I'm wondering why more people don't just, like, land on the platform and then, like, jump up and, like, call out the full hops afterwards if there's no threat of shield dropping. I'm sure there's a reason, but it's just interesting to me. Because then you can grab if they just keep shielding, too. It feels like it's a pretty good spot. Okay, finally covers that going to ledge. Okay, so I think there is like two stadium games, right? He just side bees at the beginning. What? How cheeky! Look at like how much space Levin gives up for like Peach right now. Like he's literally letting Peach take so much space. I feel like you would never see that now from him. This like shades of why Mute King was so bad versus H box for such a long time because he gave up way too much space for lasers. Gets that nair. Ooh, he started off this game strong. Shit. Ferris is too far away to even do anything. Gets a jab off smash. How did he get out of jab off smash? Like, this early. The defensive play is still, like, super good. For both these guys, actually. There's no, like, real slide off setups. But, Leffen's, like, defense on hit is still pretty good. Okay, bad DI. No one ever holds out in 2014, 2015. That's, like, a 2019 thing is holding out. I think it was doing shy drops. Down smash. Much less clean out of shield play. Back here grab. Dude, I feel like this peach is still like really good. This fox is like also really good. I, I could definitely see, like, why the Peach is more seasoned, though. Let's put it that way. The Fox feels like that, like, new school, like, super, like, good Fox that's coming up. But, like, a lot of situational stuff that he doesn't really mix up too much. But, obviously, it's, like, 2014. Left and had basically just started. It's crazy that he was this good already. That turnip was crazy. What? He did, like, the strong throw, I'm pretty sure. Damn. That was a good-ass turn-up. That's some fast tech skill. 
Love his follow-ups are insanely clean still. I was, it was dash, yeah, it was a dash throw. I don't know if that's, like, strong. I guess it's not technically the strong throw. I don't actually know, like, the terms for, like, Peach's throws. It was a dash throw, though, yeah. To get, like, a little extra, like... Yeah. Damn, that was clean as fuck. This is a good set. This is like really good. This is way better gameplay than like a lot of the other sets I've seen from this time around this play love. Uh, just from a lot of the other sets I've seen around this time. So obviously some stuff, but like the level of like execution and like a lot of the other sets, I noticed that a lot of the players are like a lot slower. These guys are still slower than their like present day selves, but like their movement is not choppy. It's not as choppy as it I've seen from a lot of the other sets. There's, like, no wasted frames, basically, comparatively. These guys are definitely tech skill monsters, like, in a, in a really good way. Gets the land. Kind of like what I was saying, like, why don't you land on the platform and threaten a jump, which I guess is really good. What was he punishing? I guess he was punishing a full hop because I couldn't pull up early. Oh my god, that that narrative, that narrative like interaction looked so weird. I don't know going down. Got the slide off. It looked like he was like kind of ready for it too. Maybe he didn't expect it, but like had recognition of the situation. Missed his dash forward. Runs all the way through, gets a back air. And nobody else in 2014 crouch cancels. <laughs> It's crazy. This like edge guard basically never worked from like true neutral, like, or from like true edge guarding. It was like he'd only ever go out preemptively because to make someone up B. I feel like I, he hadn't gotten one side B edge guard all game that just gets to close out a game. You miss our with Peach. It'd be nice to have back. Good on Leffen for holding it together and winning this too. Like, that's fucking crazy. Got the drill, miss, miss. That kind of stuff is a lot less prevalent nowadays, obviously, but it's still there. Again, Grand Chance grab the full cancel fair. That's not easy, like, at all. Nair's in, shields. Still a lot of Nair, though. Still the jabs. He's still a little jabber. Really good shield pressure. That was, like, super fast, too. And then misses a ledge dash. He was down this game. That's hella impressive. Ooh, Smash Jai. Hadn't, hadn't seen that yet, really. Front up the power shields. <laughs> Grabs the turn up for literally no reason. There's a Florida guy. No, I don't remember. I wasn't playing melee at this time. So I don't remember that at all, actually. He's so good at punishing Peaches like landing on aerials. And that's the first smash I've seen on Drill, I'm pretty sure. And he got a down smash out of it. Like, a lot of the early... A lot of the ideas are, like, there. Just they're not as prevalent or, like, fleshed out yet. So I'll give my, like, honest opinion of this in a second. How do you, how do you, how do you get around this? Okay, I'll slash out a shield. That was really good. That was actually crazy recognition. Just waiting for it. Didn't punish it. That's actually really shocking. Yeah, this transformation is annoying. I, I'm ha If I'm left and I'm really happy he went to the corner, though, because I got stage control. He kind of gave it up, but... First time you went at him the entire set. There are still mix-ups there. Lack of refinement, but to be expected, it is 2014. Yep, just just laser. And he's doing a lot better job actually now. He like double lasers here. And like waits he notices coming in and he starts dash dancing instead of committing with lasers. Tries to go in and punish it again, but gets double jabbed. It's so hard to fucking consistently punish that. 
laser laser come in laser lasers take this take space give him space very clear game plan it works i think because the level of execution isn't quite as prolific as or isn't quite as proficient as it is like nowadays uh that this playstyle definitely would have not seen the same this wouldn't be like a present day peach this playstyle but obviously he made like adjustments to it as he needed to go down but he got him yeah kind of a tricky spot it's like because it's like oh if i go up he's just gonna react and then he just reads that and goes down anyways waiting for the fest let's just tofu has ever seen he was down that's fucking crazy rolls away from the good tomahawks are reactable kind of impressed he was able to do that already damn he was down big okay gets gas on the roll Jumps away. So much pressure, dude. This is so scary to, like, be nairing this much. Do you guys know, like, how much people won't nair Peach at this percent? Like, how scary that is? Okay, running shine. Runs through with the nair. That's really good. And it gets a smash GI. Reads the roll. Surprised he didn't do reverse, uh... He got away from that. I cannot. That angle was fucking crazy. This isn't notched. This is like a legit angle. To do that, like last stock, last hit at fucking big house against Armada when you're like the, in the position left hands in. And then the ledge dash off of it. Damn. That's fucking crazy. Damn. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> That's really impressive. To have, like, that level of, like, execution. Uh, both these players... Like... Were, were they 1 and 2 one of the years... Regardless, whatever their ranks were, uh, not I know they weren't this year, but like later on, based off of like every person I've seen, it is zero shock to me that these people continued to get better, and everyone else not got worse, but like kind of stayed around the same or got like a little worse. Um, these play styles are really good. It's just like really consistent. Like the the mental games and like the game plans. It's like if you want to use the term game theory for like expected value. Like, all of that's, like, there already. It's, like, super there. It's very little, like, overcommitment. It makes a lot of sense that their play styles uh, continue to grow, like, the way they did. This was, like, super cool to watch, actually. Left was ranked 6 for a while. Only for, like, a year, I think, right? Only for, like, a year. And then he did really well and then came back and then didn't do as well because of LOL. And then... Because uh, of the visa shit. Then came back, did badly, and then started getting good again. And now he's, like, third. Probably second this year. Shout out to LaFalco. <laughs> that was fun, though. Okay, uh, 